Hi friends, I'm Lenny and I'm a patient with Functional Neurological Disorder. Is FND all psychological? Yes, no, maybe? This is a question that comes up in our support groups all the time and it's important to address it. Can the brain and the mind and the body be so easily separated? Historically, FND has been called a lot of different things including conversion disorder and hysteria. But the proper term that we use now is functional neurological disorder. Is it all psychological? Well, no, but there might be some predisposing factors. I like to think of FND as the perfect storm. So there could be some biological or genetic factors that just haven't been researched yet. There might be some psychological factors like stress or trauma that means your immune system or whatever is more susceptible to getting something. Or there might be social and environmental factors that all contribute to this perfect storm of getting a neurological condition. It, honestly, it's just mysterious and doctors don't even really know what causes it yet. So FND is a real condition. The person who has it isn't making it up. They're not just trying to get attention. Even for a mental illness such as depression, anxiety, bipolar, we wouldn't say that this person is just making it up or just pretending to be sick in order to get attention. They have a real condition and they deserve to get access to treatment and to be treated fairly with dignity and respect. In the same way, people with FND aren't making it up, it's not just in their heads, they're not trying to get attention, they deserve to be treated fairly with dignity and respect and have access to treatment that will help them. Also, there's enough stigma for mental illness already, so we need to be really careful when we talk about something being psychological as though it's not real. Just because something's psychological doesn't mean it's not real. So we don't want to compound the stigma that people already experience for mental illness and make it even worse for people experiencing functional symptoms. So whatever has caused your FND or your loved one's FND, they deserve access to treatment that will help them. In the case of FND, neuropsychology is one of the multidisciplinary things that could help. Neuropsychology, it's not the same as counselling, it's more like retraining for your brain. My neuropsychologist explained it to me like, the machinery is not working and we need to do some things and find some strategies to retrain the brain so that it'll operate properly. So an example um, from my experience is my neuropsychologist is working with me to create some strategies and a checklist for when I can feel symptoms coming on, like finding some tactile distractions for my brain to kind of switch it from one track to another track of operating. Um, and also some statements that I can say to myself um, to help my brain kind of reset and function properly. Another thing I'd like to say, which is a bit delicate, is that counselling might actually help you. Whether or not you have a diagnosed mental illness, if you've been through stress because of this condition, if you've experienced trauma because of this condition, or if you have some childhood experiences that you've never worked through, counselling actually might really help you. And if you haven't tried it before, why not give it a go? In my case, I saw at least three different psychologists and one of them really helped me to work through my stress of having this mysterious, medically unexplained condition and just to be able to cope with life so that I could get to doctor's appointments and try to meet with friends and be in difficult environments again. 
that really that kind of counselling actually really helped me. And it also helped me work through some anxiety that I was experiencing at the time. The last psychologist I saw was actually really helpful. There was something specific that I wanted to work through about some life transition that I'd had. And they said to me that they thought I should stop trying to look for some hidden trauma or stop trying to go through the past to find something that may or may not be there and to think of functional neurological disorder as an organic condition that the neurolo neurologist should be in charge of my treatment and um, to continue with the physiotherapy and the neuropsychology. To parents, carers and friends of loved ones with FND, I want to say especially to you, this functional neurological disorder is a real condition. The person is not making it up. They're not just trying to get attention. If they've just been recently diagnosed, it's really challenging. They may not have had a really clear explanation from the doctor. They might have been discharged from hospital with no treatment. It might have been a really negative and difficult experience for them and they're just trying to understand themselves what's going on. If you find that a doctor is not able to explain this condition to you or they're not offering treatment options, then please find a different doctor. One who will treat your loved one fairly and not dismissively. One great thing that you can do is to educate yourself. So go to the Neurosymptoms website Go to some other countries, your country's websites such as FND Support Services Australia and educate yourself about this condition and learn about how you can support your loved one. Knowing that this is real and you need to find a doctor that will not do harm to your loved one. So is FND all psychological? No. Might there be psychological factors? Probably, but who really knows? Everybody's different. Every single patient has a different experience, different history, different biopsychosocial factors. So, is it all in your head? Yes, because that's where your brain is. Mm -hmm.